Hey guys, welcome to our video and in this video, I'll be showing you how to install Apple's new OS Big Sur on your AMD Ryzen systems on VMware 16. And we will also explore how to make it more usable after installing it and as it gets glitchy and slow after installation. So please watch the full video as we will talk about installing and exploring the Big Sur and why I felt the need to make this video. So let's hop into our video but first, let me tell you one more piece of information I hope it will benefit you if anyone is interested in learning about networking, credit Linux servers, Windows server, cybersecurity, and many more things at a very cheap rate can contact in the below link. So let's get to our video now. Uh, you will need some prerequisites for the installation process and all the prerequisite download links will be provided below. So first you can go and download them. After you have downloaded all of them, now you need to install VMware 16 on your system. After installing VMware, first extract the unlock master and go inside the unlock master folder. Then run the win install file with admin permission. After running some time, it will install all the required things to run the Mac OS and it will take some time based on your internet connection. Mine is installed so I am skipping this step. Now after the process is fully complete, open VMware and now choose create a new virtual machine. Now select typical install, click next, then select the installer disk option and give the ISO path of the Big Sur. Then you can click next, now choose Mac OS 11.1. Click next, give the virtual machine a name, a path and then click next. Now choose the maximum storage size you want to provide. I will be choosing 60 GB as it will be sufficient enough and click next. Now choose customize hardware option and in this you will want to give some resources to your Mac. Like how many number of cores you want to give, how many RAM you want to allot. So just make changes to your system as per your need and use the other settings same as I am setting it. Now don't start the system as we will be making some changes in the VMX file of our macOS. So navigate to the folder in which macOS is installed and open the VMX file through notepad or notepad++. So I am using notepad++. Now. What you will have to do is go to the bottom of the file and paste the given code in the end of the file and then save the file. Now open the VMware and start the Mac VM. Now you will get the loading screen. Now you will have to do the same following steps as I am doing it to get it properly working. It's just a standard Mac installation process so just follow along. It will take time in installation like about 30 minutes or so. So in the meantime, let's talk about my above question as why I felt the need of making this video. So I was working on a project related apps and websites and I felt a need of some apps testing on Mac. But as you all know, not everyone can afford a Mac Pro. So I thought why not use a virtual machine so that I can do my job. But I remembered about 5 years ago, I was learning coding and other technical stuff and I had the craze of using Mac OS but can't use it as no one in my surrounding owned a Mac. So I tried to install Mac OS on my AMD system and that was an AMD A4 APU and that was not that good at running VMs. But I tried and so I discovered that I can't install or make it run on my AMD system and my other friend who had an Intel processor or an Intel system was running the Mac OS. It was slow and glitchy but running. I tried but the process was too much complicated for me to handle at that time so I dropped the thought and so I researched on it and found that today we can also run Mac OS stably on VMware 15 but not so stable on VMware 16 as it is not working for so many people. So I thought why not make a video for all my brothers and sisters around the world who want to run the latest Mac on the latest VMware without much problems. That's why I am making this video so please guys if you like my video and think it will help you in any way so just hit the subscribe button and give a like so that it can reach many other people or persons who want to use the new Mac OS on the Ryzen builds. So let's get back to our video. Now after you have finished setting up the Mac, you will notice that it is showing only 3 MB of graphics memory and it will be lagging. So to fix that, power up the VM, open the edit virtual machine option and choose the CD DVD option. Navigate to the unlock master folder and go inside the tools folder and choose the Darwin ISO image and save and then start the Mac. 
Now you will be seeing VMware tools and just open it and select VMware tools option after selecting it. After selecting it, it will start installation but in the middle it will ask for permission so give it. And so what I am doing, it will need some restarts. So just give it. It will need some restarts but at the end it will fix your graphics problem. Now I tried it for different purposes and used it for a bit and it worked fine for me with some minor issues but they can be fixed with some little tweaking but overall it performed well and you can use it and have a Mac OS experience. As for some of the problems I will mention down below how to rectify them. So that's all for the video and hope you liked it. So please keep supporting my channel by hitting the like and subscribe button as we need all of your support to grow. Thank you for joining me. Signing off.